Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. It is the 5th of, <coughs> excuse me, November, 2022. And uh, a lot of people have asked me about our uh, process for creating uh, generative art and then using that art to create NFTs and then building a, a brand and a business and a community around all of this uh, pretty, pretty easily without any code or tech or really any uh, natural artistic talent at all. So I'm going to show you exactly the tools that we're using. This is part of our new tiny revolution uh, community for authors and teachers and entrepreneurs and folks who want to write, teach, create content and build a brand and business using some of these new Web3 slash, you know, kind of NFT tokenized, uh, you know, kind of you know, practices and protocols in their own business. So here are a few simple examples that we've created already or that I've created. Uh, and in this case, uh, this I just created last night. This is a free NFT. So if you'd like a copy of this, there are only 100. Uh, there are 99 left. Uh, the first one went to me, but I'm going to be opening this up to our community going forward. So if anyone wants access to this, I'm going to show you uh, exactly how to do something like this. Uh, but you also get, you know, all of these uh, sort of benefits uh, within our community uh, if you want a copy of this uh, exclusive NFT. But nonetheless, here's what we're going to do really quickly. I'm going to show you uh, some of the NFTs uh, and the art that I've created for our mindfulness-based uh, community. This is really for our books and illustrations for uh, our content that's going to be for kids and teens and adults with mental health uh, challenges, you know, mindfulness and meditation practices. But you can see I've created a, a shit ton of other, um, you know, pieces of, of art using the tools I'm about to show you. And again, I'm going to break this into a multiple different um you know, videos, so it's not all lumped together. And you can also join our course community and get access to all of this uh, and learn how to do this together if you're so inclined. I mean, I'm not going to show you everything, but you get a general idea. It's a lot of art and it's been a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do really quickly is we're going to go into Discord. The tool that we're using for this is called Mid Journey. Uh, and I'm going to turn this art into... Um, NFTs. I'm going to turn this into gated, uh, you know, restricted, you know, art. Uh, I'm saying this badly. I'm going to turn this into, uh, you know, pieces of art that are tokenized that give folks access to various levels of our community, just like this. I'm not going to do this all in this one video, but I'm going to do it over the series of a few videos and largely in our course community as well. So, Let's go back to our collection and and I'm going to show you, let's see, I'm going to take a piece of art that I've already created. Let's say this one here, and I'm going to open this in Discord. All right, so now this is going to show up in my Discord uh, mid-journey account, and I'm going to be able to make variations of this so I can iterate on this piece of art in a lot of fun and creative ways. But for those of you who are just starting from scratch without any, um, you know, existing art to iterate or optimize for, all you really do is type in imagine prompt and then use a text prompt that describes the art or the image that you want to create. All right. So you can add anything in here. You know, I just watched the World Series uh, late last night. So I could write you know, the something like that, right? The Philadelphia Phillies World Series roster 2022. And this AI would generate a picture, an image that would be somewhat representative of the Phillies roster circa last night. And then I could iterate and optimize and improve that tweak and critique it until I got a picture or an image that I really, really liked. Or I could just use all of the images, right? So for an example, 
like you saw here, I mean, these are, I didn't pick one, I'm using all of them to create different characters that we're using to give different levels of NFT access to our community. All right, so let's go back to here. And this is the image that I took from our gallery and I just imported it here and I'm just gonna make variations, all right? And we're gonna jump to present. You can see here are some things that other folks have been creating in the last few minutes using the same tool. We're just gonna wait a minute until the art that I just generated starts to render. You can see some of the other content that other folks have created, again, just in the last few minutes. And here is a version, here's another version of that piece of art that I just inputted or imported that is now different than the original piece, right? So these are iterations on that original image, all right? So let's say, again, let's look at it again. Which one of these do we like? I like all of them, actually. I like this one more. I like this one more. I like this one. This one's okay, but I'm going to actually upscale this. So I'm going to render this in a more fine grained detail. I'm going to upscale this one too. These are the ones that you want to actually keep, right? So you're actually enhancing them. So as you can see here, this is rendering. And the other thing that you can do is you can make modifications. So I'm going to vary image number two. So you can get a sense of what that looks like as well. All right, so now I have a bunch of jobs running at the same time. So it's telling me to wait a second, to hold my horses. and you're about to see the finished products in a second. They're all gonna come down here. So let's go to web. It's gonna bring me to my, my personal account. And this is the version of this. That's an iteration of the first thing that I added. Let's go back into our Discord. And you can see now, here's a version of this one. These are now all being saved to my personal collection. Now, of course, this is not the process of turning these into NFTs yet. That's a whole different thing that we're gonna cover in a minute. This is just the art piece. All right, so let's go back. And you can see the variations I made of the images before. Well, I don't really love these as much. Those aren't really great variations. I don't know that I'll keep any of these. Maybe this one. I don't know. What do you think? I don't like really any of these other than this one a little bit. But it doesn't matter. I mean, I can continue to optimize and iterate and tweak and critique everything until I like that. Did I actually get that one yet? Oh, shit, I didn't want to make a variation of that yet. Actually, one of the things I discover about this process is I start to lose track of which ones I've saved and which ones I've kind of added some redundancy to. So nonetheless, let's go to my home. Let's see if we can sort that out a little bit. So you can see I've got a couple variations that I like of the original piece of art that I added. And again, these are all unique, right? These are all things that I've created. Now, of course, the next thing we want to do is take all of these and then turn them into actual NFTs and then assign community benefits to those specific pieces of art. So for an example, this here is something that, I mean, the price of this is, I, and again, you choose this. I mean, I, I decided that I wanted to price this at one and a half ETH. And essentially this gives folks who purchase this NFT, and there's 25 copies of this, none have sold. I haven't 
promoted it yet, but this is actually all stuff that we're planning for 2023, but this gives people access to me, access to our book writing uh, uh, process and cohort and sort of phone time for authors who want to write books. And, you know, uh, there's a whole sort of entrepreneurial creative process that we walk people through. So people can actually buy this, get access to this whole, you know, kind of service that we offer. And at the same time, they can sell it later, right? So they can, you know, take advantage of the features and the benefits that they want. And then it can be resold later to somebody else. Uh, and we get a, a, a um, you know, a, 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 you know, a, a royalty on every sale that's made. There's a, a lot more to that that I don't want to get into here with some pros and some cons to all of that when it comes to selling services. And a lot of this, of course, I'm just figuring out on my own uh, or I'm figuring out, you know, like on the fly because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it like all the most uh, exciting things I've done in my own entrepreneurial uh, journey have been things that I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of figuring it out and having fun. As you can see here, some other pictures that we created or images. I mean, that's Jerry Garcia. That's a pretty damn good rendition of Jerry Garcia via AI, right? I mean, I didn't you know, create that, but it is something that we created using the same process I just showed you. So we're going to be doing all of this together uh, in a group, but you get a sense of what this would be like for you uh if you want the actual tools step by step that we're using uh you know we're going to be offering that as well in our little private cohort but really all i'm doing here is using uh you know this mid-journey you know ai tool and then you know picking the platform that you choose to mint your nfts that you know is most appropriate for your use case in our in our use case we want gated content so that when you buy this for an example you get access to content that's not available to folks who haven't bought this content right so you purchase this nft and then you get access into our private space which you know allows you to um, you know, get updates and get access and get private files and audios and videos, et cetera, et cetera, all by dint of having owned or by owning this particular image or this image or this image. And you can get a good feel for this uh, simply by taking advantage of this free token here. So you can see how that works uh, without spending a dime. And you can, you know, use this model for yourself if it's appealing to you. I mean, that's certainly how I've learned by getting some free tokens of my own, buying some NFTs that offer access to things, and then kind of learning on the fly, like what works, what doesn't work, what feels right, what feels sort of frictionful, you know, and then, you know, kind of trying to optimize the process for myself by dint of learning what other people are doing well. All right. So if you're interested in any of this, uh, feel free to reach out. But this is really game changing stuff, right? I mean, this is very, very cool, very, very easy to learn, very easy to do. Let's see, here are some other. Yeah, I mean, I actually like this one. I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one. I kind of like all of these. I don't love any of them, but so I'm going to actually take these as well. I'm going to opt or I'm going to um, upscale them, which is the terminology for creating, you know, the, the uh, more high resolution version. I'm going to take that one. And again, this is all for a meditation a course and community and book that these are all going to be living in. And, you know, we're going to do some cool things there as well with respect to giving our readers kind of collectibles and access to our community, you know, on a limited edition uh, basis. But I'll cover that in some other videos and uh, as those things actually come to life in the, in the world. All right. Teach what you know. Do what you love wake up the world with your work. If you're interested in doing this for yourself, I highly recommend uh, getting started. It's really, really fun and it's it feels good and it really stimulates my entrepreneurial imagination to think of all the cool and creative ways that I can give people access to art and ideas and our content and our community while giving them some degree of ownership over the success of the project as well. The more, the better I do, the more 
um, these are going to the more these are going to be worth. I mean, the more valuable each of these will become over time. Uh, and don't forget, the more that cryptocurrency itself increases in value, the more all this becomes uh, you know worth to folks who own these art as assets as well. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.